Okay, I think we'll do a little bit of a disassembly on this uh, burnout that I burned out uh, just recently. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out, this is the internal overload and it's kind of interesting, it's not even anywhere close to the windings. And it's got three wires going to it, so I'll probably take that apart and we'll take a look at what's going on with it too, probably in another video. But uh, we'll uh, take a look up close at what happened to these windings. One thing that's kind of interesting with this thing is uh, this shaft is uh, turned blue. The uh, motor shaft, which it's, it still uh, rotates okay. Uh, but uh, when the windings got hot enough, it actually turned this blue. It's also magnetized, the silly thing. It was a little odd. I don't usually see these things magnetized. Okay, uh, I've got a mega ohm meter hooked up to the uh, windings of this burned up compressor. And when I go start to run, I get 2.9, which was about the same as what I got before. Um, and that should be the highest resistance. What I don't get is when I go, say, start to common, I'm open. And when I try run, run to common, I'm open too. Uh, so the common circuit has failed here someplace. Okay, now here's the uh, internal overload and the wires are coming off the internal overload here. That one there is still intact. This one is not. This one's not intact. Uh, I get the funny feeling the windings in this aren't burned out yet. It's just these wires going to the uh, internal overload. I'll uh, give you a little bit of a close-up there where these wires go in. It appears that it's right in there. Okay, I've kind of done a, taken a few things apart. The only wire that's actually open is this one here. It appears to go right down in there. I'm not sure which connection that is on the internal overload. Um, this is uh, it's kind of interesting if you look at uh, what the resistance readings are. Now here's the wires here that are coming out of the uh, uh, windings, and that's a, this one's a start. And if I take my mega meter and go to chassis, I'm still saying, oh well. I can take it on any of the other terminals. Oh well. And again, oh well. So I'm not reading a short on any of these things to the chassis. There's an open here, and uh, but there's no short to ground. So from the outside of this thing, I would not show a shorted compressor, and yet I had a really nasty burnout. So uh, I don't know. Should we uh, always just assume? There's no real nastiness going on in there uh, by the uh, ohm readings. I'm not sure we should. This thing would have certainly had phosgene gas if uh, if you opened one of the taps, you'd get phosgene gas out of it. That should tell you at that point uh, that there's nothing you can do. This thing is dead. So. Uh, the simple test of phosgene gas was probably the uh, most valuable test on this thing because this thing is not showing a short to ground, it's just showing an open.